that lava. I can still see Chrono through the ash clouds. She's swimming strongly as she approaches the volcano. Oh, and Quinny's launched herself into the river. Yikes! Swim, Quinny, swim! Quinny can't swim, but it's not her forte. Her long legs create drag in the water, and her tail is thick and rounded, not streamlined for splashing through swell. The fiery lava is oozing down the volcano's side. If our racers could just make it around the volcano's base, then swim out to sea, they should be able to outswim the lava. Chrono's almost at the river mouth. Quinny's coming up behind her. The threat of the orange ooze has really put some wind in her sails. Hey, where did Chrono go? We might need to take a look through the underwater cam. Chrono has a bit of a reputation for laying low. Aha! You were right, Tim. Chrono's lurking on the riverbed. But why? Well, we think she's an ambush predator, lying in wait before attacking from below. But what is there to attack? Quinny! Is she OK? Yes, it appears so. I suspect Chrono was just trying to scare her with that lunch, a ploy to throw her off course. I don't like that dirty tactic, Chrono, but unfortunately it seems to have worked. Winnie has jumped out of the river and back onto the bank. She's faster there anyway. Time to run, Quinny, away from the lava and towards the sea. Chrono's made it to the river mouth. Off she goes. Chrono is soaring through the water into the Eromanga Sea. Surely she'll win. I mean, this is her home. Quinny's lagging behind, running along the riverbank with the lava hot on her tail. Well, Quinny will have to get back in the water soon. The finish line is in the middle of the Eromanga. Quinny's reached the river mouth. What a dive. Now, if you want to catch Chrono, you need to swim with all your might, Quinny. Chrono's getting closer to the finish line. Uh, was that sandbank there before? Oh, no. And there's another one. Is it low tide? I don't think so. It looks like parts of the sea are disappearing. The Aramanga Sea did disappear in the real world, but not this quickly. Where'd all the water go? Rocks and sand from volcanic explosions built up over millions of years, making the water spill out. A, a bit like how your bath might overflow if you put too many toys in it. I don't have that many rubber duckies. <laughs> After a long time, with more and more rocks and sand and less and less water, the inland sea dried up and became the dusty outback. So the sea is drying up right now? Yes, but instead of taking millions of years, it's happening in mere minutes in the dome. For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown-up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more... Dino Dome!